Action. Action. Fermin Nunez here from Suerte in Austin, Texas. I think if I was going to put my food philosophy in, in a sentence or a few words, I would describe it as always finding the right ingredients. To me, the, the, the basis of Mexican cooking, the canvas of what Mexican cooking is to me, it's all about the masa. If you don't have good masa, you can't have good tortillas. If you don't have good tortillas, you have a very just okay taco. So the canvas of what we do here at Suerte, it's all about the masa. It's something that we do every day. If I was either new to Austin or I was visiting Austin from any other part of the world, I think some of my favorite spots that I would go to would be, I would start maybe the day off at Leroy and Lewis, start with whatever smoked meats that he has in his way of new school barbecue. And it's cooking like I've never seen anybody do smoked meats before. Look at this spread. We have some beef chicks, we have some barbacoa on top of an avocado. We have some refried beans with all the delicious pork fat. We got some pulled pork with chicharrones. We got some cauliflower burnt ends and some pork and rice. We got the L and L burger, smoked patty, then seared cheese, special sauce. But this is the winner, the smoked beef cheeks. Look at that smoke, look at that pull. Texas barbecue joint that has burnt cauliflower ends with mustard sauce. You can only find that at places like this in Austin, which are chefs that are stepping outside of the comfort zone of what people would expect and giving them what I think they should be having on a daily basis. So I think one of the, the reasons why I put Nixa as a must visit place in Austin is not only is the food amazing, but also the space. The vibe of the place is just exciting to be around and it's one of those places that connects food with the place and the vibe and the music is always right. Edgar is doing something beautiful with a tortilla, with being creative. This enchilada potosina is unlike anyone I've ever had in Mexico but it tastes just like the ones you have in Mexico. And it's just a very beautiful thing to see where he can play with those things that are just very true to the roots of what Mexican cooking is through the eyes of a chef. It's really exciting for me to come to places like this and just get very inspired to do food. Why do, why do I love Calimocho? Why don't I love Calimocho? Calimocho is one of those spots for me that it's always great on a Sunday. The drinks are always amazing. Right now they have a mango chamoyada, which is perfect to enjoy in the patio while you're having some snacks, some pan con tomate, some shishitos. It just makes your day better than it was if it was a bad day. And if it was a good day, it makes it even better. If you want to treat yourself like you deserve, and if you can score a table at a toco, you're gonna have an incredible time. It's a very narrow sushi bar that fits about 12 to 14 people. He has a dish that has a little bit of a barbecue element with pinchotan seared hamachi. It tastes like barbecue, but it tastes like sushi. And I think it describes what Yoshi, his team and Otoko are doing for the city and been doing it very well for the past three, four years. Sometimes when you're looking for the best ingredients, you don't have to look very far. That is one way that kind of drives the way I cook. And it's also very inspired by the Mexican cooking techniques that I think are the most creative and unique ways of going about cooking. Putting those things together makes for a little bit of how we do things here at Suerte and how I like to cook, uh, not only for myself, but for the restaurant. <laughs>